Yeah! <laughs> hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to a new episode of the Newcastle Career Mode. That was a weird intro, I'm sorry. Guys, welcome back. I am extremely excited to have you back for the Newcastle Career Mode as a Leipzig sign Memphis Depay for 46.9 mil. Okay. Now guys, we are in the last match of March, the month of March, and we are supposed to make some upgrades after this one. We had a good month overall, in my opinion. We won against West Ham with a clean sheet. We lost against Everton 3-1. One against Bournemouth in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup completely decimated our opponents. 5-0, the best game, one of the best games that we have played in this season, including two goals for Chalov and a beautiful goal of the season from Skull, who we all love. And then in the um, in the Wednesday match, we have played against Burnley 2-2, tried to play with our reserves team, so to say, or at least a couple of players um, were in there that were from the first team, but we tried to keep them fit for the big game against Arsenal. And as you can tell, lots of these players are a bit tired, but I think it's gonna be fine. We're gonna put Ihan in here instead of Cher. But then again, doesn't really make a big difference. He is kind of fit. He's a center back, doesn't really need this the stamina that much. But enough talk about that. Guys, if you are enjoying the Newcastle career mode, please make sure to hit that like button on this. You guys have been extremely supportive. I've never put up any like targets and you guys have just crushed the videos with support. And also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now, in this match, a couple of players will I will have an eye on. If Chalov comes in and he scores a goal, upgrade. Two goals in the last one, one more goal in this one against Arsenal especially, he gets an upgrade. Simple as that. Then, if Palacios scores a goal or gets an assist, he is up for an upgrade as well. And then Rojas, I have really enjoyed in this past month or in the last two months actually. I really liked him, so Rojas is up for an upgrade as well if necessary. Hayden is going to play at centre-back once again alongside Ihan. Poro down the left-hand side. Taylor is yeah, basically not fit enough yet. Hopefully in the upcoming matches they will be fit enough. We definitely will have to be making some substitutes later on into the game. I'm thinking Skull goes down to the left-hand side. Palacios moves into the right wing position and then Rojas comes in at centre midfield in this big game against um, Arsenal. And also, I have seen that Alain Saint-Maximin is apparently very, very close to signing with Newcastle. I've seen pictures of him arriving at Newcastle with the Gucci headband. The man stays true to his nature, puts it up and goes to the medical. What a legend. I cannot wait to see him play for Newcastle next season. Him and Joel Linton up top is going to be a nice partnership. I mean, obviously, Saint-Maximin is a winger, but very skillful, very fast. I can see him doing bits for Newcastle. Will be nice to see some flair come into the team of Newcastle alongside Almiron with Joy Linton. It's not a bad attack. And of course, because he has joined Newcastle in real life, I'm going to shortlist him in the transfer hub. We're going to start to scout him as well. And in about 24 days, we'll see how good he is and see if he is worth for us to go after. Um, there is a spot in our team. I, I think Skov is doing an exceptional job, but Lookman will have to decide if Lookman is good enough or if we want to basically change it up and get Maximin into the team. Lookman has been great though. 29 games, 10 goals, 2 assists. But then again, you got to keep in mind three of those goals are in the preseason so take that away that's seven goals two assists in 25 games yeah it's not bad emirates stadium looking fly i see some big names on that picture now it is time though for newcastle to jump in here against arsenal let me know guys, one thing I want to ask you guys is how are you feeling about FIFA 20 so far? After everything that you have seen for FIFA 20, what are your thoughts about what's to come? In terms of um, gameplay, we have already seen trailers and pitch notes talking about the changes that are being made. And then in terms of um, Ultimate Team, we have also seen a lot of news, which I personally love. I love the squad battles changes. It is incredible. Thank you, EA, for those changes to squad battles because now I can play squad battles to top 100 and play weekend league to elite which means I will always have content throughout the week 
to stream for which i am really looking forward to so we now have everything to go after alongside with the season objectives and everything so i'm really excited about ultimate team next year link in the description down below to my second channel make sure to subscribe to that one because that is where i will be posting my ultimate team content at least every second day you guys will be getting an episode on that channel but probably at the beginning every single day that's probably how it's gonna go but yeah i'm very excited about fifa 20 and now Apparently in this week, we're going to get to see a lot of career mode news. So let's just please hope for the best. Oh, okay. Immediately, Arsenal strike from right outside the box. Dubravka comes in with a good save. It is going to be Mikitarian on the cross. It's actually a decent one, but we do get onto the end of that one. My defense is going to be the most important part in this game. Obviously, we are playing away from home. So, yep. That is exactly what I needed to prevent, but I couldn't. It is already 1-0. Aubameyang. Okay. Okay. Clean sheet's gone. Now it's about scoring goals. <laughs> that was unexpected. That came pretty early. It's the sixth minute and Arsenal have already scored. Pretty unfortunate situation for us. Beautiful passing play. No chance for Dubravka. Here's Palacios now. Palacios. Lukman. Almiron. Jolinton. Oh. I was about to do the same. I was so close to do the same to what Aubameyang has done. We hit the woodwork, as we have done in the West Ham game. We have hit the woodwork in the West Ham game as well today. So let's hope we can do a little bit better here. Let's go. Joel Linton. Nicely done. Pass it. Go on. Beautiful goal. Joel Linton and Scove are working together perfectly. We are back into the game. 13th minute. Great passing play and good composure shown by Sko and also Joy Linton. Socrates was chasing down Joy Linton. He passes it in between two defenders and Sko doesn't miss from that angle. He just smashes it into the top right. But back into the game, surprisingly. Very happy with this. Arsenal currently in the sixth position. Sko with his 12th goal in the Premier League. Come on. Oh, long staff. Good job, Lookman. I see Palacios making a run. Palacios gets it in behind for Sko, who is sadly offside. That's unfortunate. Please, Johnny, remind yourself to upgrade Sko's weak foot. I don't know if I've already done it, but if I haven't, I need to. Oh, they run through. They pass nicely. They get it again. Okay, good passing there out of the defense. And there is a huge counter-attacking opportunity against Arsenal. And I love counter-attacking with our team counter-attacking is probably the best thing we can do with our squad um, getting in behind is very nice with our fast players oh here they come that's good defending hayden he is actually pretty decent as a center back i like him palacios cuts back inside lost the ball longstaff gets it back into almiron jolinton i was aiming into the top right i thought i could pull it off Yes, good tackle. Khan Ihan gets it. Skull now getting in behind one more time. Can he get it done? On his weak foot this time, I believe. He hits it at the top of the roof. Um, at the top of the roof. At the roof of the net. That's the right wording, isn't it? Come on. This guy is so good. And the reason why we are doing so well against Arsenal is they have such a high line of defense. And every time I get the ball in my defense, I can counterattack them so fast. Their center mids are not doing anything defensively. Skull runs through, hits it on his weak foot, scores one more time. Two goals for Skull. And I think he might be up for another upgrade, guys. I mean, we have just upgraded him to an 80, but these performances have to be rewarded. And if we look at this month entirely, he is the best player. Oh, that's some quality passing again from Arsenal. They were about to... Yep, they have scored. I mean, we had a few moments of leading in this game, but Mesut Ozil comes back and scores, hugs Unai Emery, who I don't think he has the best relationship with, but hey... He scores, it's 2-2. Dubravka has to get the ball out of his net one more time. Again, the passing play is just quality. Hayden tried to save it the first time, deflects off of him, and immediately it is the left-footed volley coming in, which just was unsavable yet again. 2-2, really good game right here against Arsenal. There we go, what a pass. Almiron, Joelinton! Oh, I thought Almiron got an assist. 
very unlucky. It would have been perfect right before half time as well. So after 45 minutes, I think we have to already make some changes. In terms of possession, Arsenal is the better team. In terms of attacking, we are the better team. We are just getting more chances. Joe Linton is very tired. We have to take him off. Chalov joins in. Like I said, Rojas is going to come in. Palacios goes down the wings. He has a four-star weak foot, but I'm going to put him onto the right. Skull can hit it on his left, of course, which is a strong foot. And then, uh, yeah, the rest we're going to keep like this for now. Maybe Lecco comes in for Palacios later on and he drops into midfield. Oh, wow. Colasinats with a good ball inside. One of the options that I was considering for us because of what he has done for Uzi in real life. We can bring it down the right though with Da Costa. Da Costa to Palacios. Palacios, beautiful ball. And here goes Chalov. Can he score again? Yes, he can. He is getting an upgrade, boys. He goes up to a 77. He deserved it. It is three goals in this month for the new signing of Newcastle. Struggled a little bit. Let's be honest. He struggled a little bit at the beginning of his career for our team. Missed like two big chances towards the end of games where it would have been crucial. Sure. But right here, this might just be the goal that gets us three points against the sixth placed Arsenal, which is huge. That is the type of performance we need to put in. Very well taken strike from him on his, I believe, four star weak foot. First goal in the Prem. Congratulations, Chalov. Every time I score, Arsenal just turns into the biggest tiki taka squad all of a sudden, like immediately after I score. They try to come back at us and score one more time. And there they come, and they hit the crossbar. What a strike. That was pretty close. Nice steal there from Poro. Poro, ooh, that's bad defending there from me. Tried to clear the ball. Dubravka. Got pretty lucky there. Counter-attack maybe with Rojas. Well done. Gets it over to Longstaff. Longstaff into Chalov. Chalov down to the left. Skov and Chalov working together nicely. Skov on the hat trick. Ah, oh, I tried to time it to get it past him. Unlucky. That is a 68. I think we have to make the change that I was mentioning. Skov is now going to come off. Leko comes in. And um, yeah, I think we're going to keep it. Actually, no, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something else. I wanted to do this. Keep Skov on the pitch and bring Leko down the wings. Yeah, that was the plan. Ooh, big steal. Long staff. Skull. Go on. Oh, how do you miss that? I tried to do the low driven. I haven't done the low driven in like, I don't know how long. Why did I do it in that case? That's just stupid. I should have just taken a regular shot. Skull on a hat trick. I messed it up. Come on, Hayden. Come on, Hayden. Yes. Well done, Hayden. Great clearance out of the defense as well. Allowing us to counter attack one more time with pace. Palacios gets the ball through. Sko. Leko. Sko. Come on. Ah, unlucky. Man, he is, he is working really hard. He has low stamina, but he's still pushing forward all the time. 85th minute. It's going to be a good position for Arsenal to cross the ball in. We have some people right there to try and pick it up. Dubravka. Quality save. Perfect. This could be dangerous. They have a couple of taller players in there. I tried to put Da Costa into that position, Dubravka. Oh my god. Dubravka has kept us winning this game. If we win this, it's all down to Dubravka at the end. What a save again. Down the middle we go. That's a bad pass. Don't allow them another attack, please. Ref, blow the whistle. I'm going to take one of them down. Yep. There we go. Had to take one of them down for the ref to realize the time is over. We have actually beaten Arsenal away from home. One of the biggest victories of Newcastle for this season. We haven't had many of these perfect performances, but this one gets really close. The defending was good. Yes, we conceded two goals, but there was pretty much nothing I could do. It was perfect tiki-taka. Skull coming in with two goals. Just such a good player. And then Chalov granting himself the upgrade. Has Palacios got an, an assist or anything of that sort? Let me check real quick. We go into this section, player ratings. Palacios has a 7.4. No assists for him. No upgrade for Palacios. Scout update. Anything big again? Last time we had a massive talent in there. 
This time there is literally nothing. Another training injury. Who is it this time? Oh my god, man, what is going on? Everyone is getting injured lately. Taylor, LaSalle, now Longstaff. Lookman had a long-term injury. And now we are losing out on Longstaff. Hold on. Hold on a second. This could be bad because... When did it start? 1st of April. Guys, I think I might not be able to use Longstaff again for the season. If he's fit against Liverpool and Sheffield, I will have to play Longstaff in order to try and get the objective done. Otherwise, I will have to reduce my transfer budget by 10 million next season because I haven't gotten to the seven scorer points with him yet. We are stuck on four at the moment. Not happy with that at all. Has he gotten an assist in the last game though? Let me check that out real quick. I can't remember if he has gotten anything done. No, he's still on two on two. Yikes, that is really bad. He's such a good player as well. We, we will miss him for sure. He's such a good player. So here they are with their upgraded statistics, boys. Skull goes from an 80 to an 81 in this month. He had to be upgraded. Palacios actually grew by himself. He's a 78 rated player. Um, where is where is my man Chalov? There he is. Chalov went up to a 77. 100% deserved his upgrade in my opinion. And I'm actually thinking of giving Leko an upgrade soon as well. I'm really liking him so far. But finally, we have our players back and fit in some of the important positions obviously Longstaff in is injured now so that really sucks but um, we also have some more players that we can put onto the bench Fernandez now goes onto the bench as another center back joins in um, not many players left for the attacking positions in terms of substitutes we really only have Leko for the wings and Chalov for the striking position so one of our front three always has to play the game until the end but yeah Sko 81 Chalov 77 and Palacios grew without us even having to do anything in terms of tough scorer it's looking quite tough for Skull, guys. He is now on 13, and Mane is on 17. He's just running away with it. And Joy Linton has overtaken Almiron in the assists, which just isn't a good thing. We have to get that objective done, but he's just too far away, and we only have one and a half months left. So a lot of these games will be sim. But then again, as you guys do know, in my rules for the two simulation matches a month rule in April, we stop with that. There is nothing like that anymore. I can play every single game as we have done in, I believe, the Crystal Palace career mode as well. So every um, every career mode that we do, we sim two games a month to keep things realistic. But then also when we get into April, when we get into the thick of the season, basically, we manage to play every single game if we want to. Now we are up against Bournemouth away. We have smashed them 5-0 the last time. And then we're up against Crystal Palace at home. I don't know how they will behave in the Premier League, but if they play the same way, we could be up for a very good game to chase down a lot of the objectives. Goals for Joel Inton, assists for Almiron, and match time for Hayden and stuff. But Hayden, his objective is actually finished. The England's future is done, as you guys might have seen by now. Let's just focus on Almiron. We need assists. By the way, I'm seeing rumors of Gbamin, the man from Mainz that I personally loved in career mode. He's apparently joining Everton for 27 million. Um, apparently already had his medical. It's a very good replacement for Gaye. Any Everton fans out there that might watch my videos, you guys have brought in an amazing midfielder who I think is perfect for the Premier League. He's very physical, but still really good on the ball. Bournemouth against Newcastle right now. Let's get them points and let's get back into top 10, man. It's been long enough outside the top 10. Let's switch it up. Oh, and of course, talking about objectives before the game, clean sheets would be nice. Um, we don't have that many games left, so we do need every clean sheet we can get. Mm, no, 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 no. What is he doing? This guy is just fooling around. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, that's a good ball. Is that not offside? It isn't, apparently. There we go. Good steal. Da Costa down the wings. Here we go with Da Costa. Good passing. Jolinton. Almiron. Come on, Almiron. I need that movement. That movement was ahead of him, but the pass just really wasn't on point. Oh, wow. What a ball. Whoa. He missed that. Really? Oh, Pavlenka. Pavlenka. No, not Pavlenka. Dubravka actually made a save. Why do I always mix him up with Pavlenka? What is my issue? Is there like a a thing broken in my brain? I don't get it. Why do I always say Pavlenka to this guy? Oh, wow. 
Good passing. Taylor. Taylor. Come on. Bad movement there from our players. Somehow that is in the foul. I'll take it. I don't care. Lookman. Getting in behind. Come on, Lookman. Come on, Lookman. Yes. Well done, mate. Almiron. Who's that? Palacios. On his right foot, hits it under the crossbar. Would have been an assist. Palacios actually in the game for Rojas. By mistake, I did not plan on doing it. But that's a good strike. It is Palacios. Palacios dribbling. Nicely done. Good passing. Palacios! Yes! He is doing it! Number 8 scores once again. Just about missed out on the upgrade in the last month because of that last game against Arsenal. But now he's on it again. He's on the list. Number 1 on the list for the upgrades for this month right now is Palacios. Nice little 1-2 there. Gets it over to Joel Inton in the end and then the strike is just perfect. 78 rated. He is very solid, guys. I like him a lot. How the hell does he get that around? Okay, I will never know. So much curve on that finish. Beautiful. 1-0 against Bournemouth. Good ball. Even better ball. Joel Linton on his left foot. Can't pull it off. Thing is, though, for that Palacios goal, Joel Linton does get a goal contribution, so that is very helpful for his objective. So at least one objective we have worked towards in this game. If we can keep a clean sheet, that would be another one that we can work towards. And of course, an assist for Almiron would be quite decent as well because he is quite far behind the top of the league. There we go, Palacios, Jordan nicely played. Palacios, Almiron, Sko, Sko, come on, do it for Almiron. Do it for Almiron. I ah, couldn't. I tried, but I couldn't. Almiron. Ooh, the defenders struggling to get the ball off of him. Almiron. We'll just do it by himself. Oh, that has that another goal. Come on. Sko turns back, plays it. Palacios. Hayden. Almiron. I see you, Lookman. Ah, oh, please. Play the ball. No. No. Stop him. Stop him. That's perfect passing play. Ow! <laughs> I actually hurt myself there. Oh god, who is that? Duda. Duda with the goal. Isn't that the guy that used to play for Hertha? That one hurt, man. I was I was the better team for sure. I was dominating this game. And then the clean sheet is gone. Dubrovka gets a hand to it, which means he should save it. That's just not good enough. We gotta make some changes as we go into the last 15 minutes of this game. Jolinton, you have already gotten your scorer point. Chalov joins in and we're going to give a chance to Leko as well. And of course, Rojas comes in now for Hayden. There we go. Chalov, oh, that's bad passing, but we somehow get it through. Almiron, still on it. Chalov against two defenders. Chalov goes through. Gone. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Dudes. We have genuinely found ourselves an amazing striker. And this young man right here, Chalov, is the one. Joel Inton, I'm telling you, mate. Chalov is getting better and better. His rating is going up and up. If he continues to perform like this, he's going to catch up to you anytime soon. Don't get me wrong, Joel Inton. You're doing a great job lately. But I also have to point out what I'm seeing. And that is that Chalov is on you he wants that position he wants the starting lineup spot two goals in the premier league right now beautiful strike on his left foot taking the lead once again against bournemouth last time we beat them 5-0 this time it's a completely different game is that a good ball is that a good ball da costa please yes da costa chair what are you doing there we go 90 second minute this should be the end this is the last attack of the game chalov go on pass it forward and that is the end. Okay, referee decides to finish the game. It's another three points for Newcastle. Six points in both of the games that we have played in the Prem. That is very good. I'm very impressed with our performance in this month. Um, expect, not in this month, in this episode, the team was playing some proper football and we were creating spaces that we were not creating lately. Palacios with an amazing goal, Joel Linton got an assist for it, very good for him and his objective. Almiron though, sadly, he just, doesn't, he just isn't a centre midfielder. Let's be completely honest with each other. He just is not a centre midfielder. He should be playing as a cam or as a winger. And currently in our current formation that is working for our team, there is no cam position. So I feel bad for this man right here. He is not really getting to fulfil his full potential. But 
We are winning games and that's all that matters. Did Almiron get an assist? He did actually get an assist. Okay, I did not realize. He's the man of the match as well. Hey, props to you, bro. Good job. Well, 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 what a turnaround for the season, man. I, I gotta say, like, that one episode where I was so scared to lose everything, I genuinely thought this is it, this is it. But after that episode, we have realized that this is such a good career mode and it's doing so well on the channel and I'm extremely thankful. I'm so motivated to play these games and as you can see, it is showing on the pitch. We have beaten Arsenal and also Bournemouth. Now we are up against Crystal Palace and we will have to make some changes in order to sim this game right here. Um, we're gonna take off, I think Almiron has good stamina. Palacios does as well, but I think I'm gonna take off Almiron right here. He's a bit, a bit too tired. Um, we're gonna bring on I think that's it though I don't think we have to make any more changes to the team Longstaff is still injured so we have to wait for him to come back anytime soon what kind of games do we have is there like a game right after no so Leicester is gonna be the next game that we will be playing ourselves but for now I have decided to sim the game against Crystal Palace and see what we can get out of get out of it player of the month is Jekyll good for him let's jump in here and maybe even get a clean sheet how about that that would be great we are back into the top 10 which is a good thing very happy with that but it would be great if we can keep a clean sheet at home for once because it seems like at home in simulations we just cannot keep a clean sheet so even if it is a nil nil draw I'll take it I really will and of course we concede Iwobi scores, Dani Da Costa comes back and then Mili, out of all the players, <laughs> out of all the players, it has to be Milivojevic, who I cannot stand. Oh, yeah, you guys are laughing. I know, I am not. I am actually angry that Milivojevic has scored the decider against us. Why are we losing at home? I really don't get it. My defense is really high rated. I don't understand. I really don't. Is it the formation? What's the issue? Well, Fabian Scheer has picked up a suspension in this game. So we're going to put in Ihan for the next one. Chalov, very good performances. Has he actually gone down to 77? No, he was 76. We upgraded him to 77. In game, he was 78 for some reason. I don't know why. But um, yeah, those are the things that we need to clear up real quick. Palacios and Rojas, two very good midfielders and I am struggling to put any of them onto the bench. I will have to keep rotating, but right now Palacios' form is up and he's just doing great for the team. Jolinton, his form is up as well, so we can't really justify putting Chalov into the starting lineup. But let me know what you guys think. I'm very happy with the team's performances and I think you guys are as well. So yeah, let me know what you think about changes in the future. Um, we definitely have a spot on the bench for Alain Saint-Maximin and hopefully soon enough we will get that scout report to see how much we would potentially have to spend on Maximin. When, um, how, do we have actually any stats according to him? N yeah, kinda. Kinda we do know how his stats will be looking. He has incredible place, uh, pace, can play on both sides of the wings, four star, four star, five foot eight. We are very interested in Alain Saint-Maximin. This is definitely a player that I wanna get into my team. Decent stamina as well. Good composure actually for a winger. Hmm, I'm impressed, I'm interested. I am very interested in getting him into our team, boys. Thank you so much for watching this great episode of the Newcastle career mode. I really enjoyed myself. Newcastle in the 10th position after 33 games. Five more to go until the end of the season. Liverpool coming up next in the FA Cup semi-final. Can't wait. Take care, boys. Have a good one. Peace. Oh, by the way, player of the episode, Scott.